Welcome back to another SEO case study and today we'll be talking about a slightly different strategy, not a bigger site that we are used to. So as you can see here, we took on this client back in January 2023. So it's probably been about 11 months we have worked on this client, but we've been able to get some really good results. So as you can see here, they are getting a total of 804 traffic a month through to their website and they're ranking for overall 2000 keywords. Previously, when we did take them on, they were ranking for only 587 and they were getting about 160 um, in traffic so we have been able to grow out this local business massively. Before we get into this video make certain to check out cadradash.com where you can book me out for a free 15 minute strategy call and I can go over how you can grow your organic traffic for your website. So this client is actually in the construction industry they do a lot of kitchen renovations, home improvement work and essentially the very first month that we sat down with them is we got a list of of all the areas that they cover. So they actually do a lot of work in the Northwest of England. And we essentially ask them, what mile radius would you actually be willing to work? Let, let's say for example, if they are in the smack bank middle of Manchester, we ask them which mile radius would they actually be willing to travel to? Would they be willing to travel 20 miles or 30 miles or hundred miles of Manchester to actually get some work? Now, what we actually found was that they were willing to actually work within a hundred mile radius of Manchester. One thing that's super important when it comes to local business SEO is that if you don't have a page specifically talking about home renovation Manchester or kitchen remodeling in Liverpool, you're not going to be able to show up for that keyword. Google only understands pages that actually are on your website. So what we then decided to do is create a hit list of areas that they were actually willing to serve the work in. So for the towns and cities, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to Google Bard. This is the prompt that I've used. Give me a list of 50 towns within a 100 mile radius of Manchester base this on population. Now obviously the Manchester can be swapped out for any single town that you are actually trying to rank for. So let's say for example you are a local business in London, you can swap this out for London, you can swap out for New York, wherever. So now we have a list of all the 50 towns based off of the population. As you can see we've got Altrinum, Barnsley, Blackpool etc etc. Now what we're going to do is we're going to copy these over onto our Google Sheet. So as we can see here all I've done is I have just copied it over onto my Google Sheet and the reason why we're going to do this is we're going to actually move this over into ChatGBT and we're going to get a few extra additional pointers for every single town and city in this list. So I'm just going to copy this. Okay, so the next step is I have just copied and pasted all of our areas into ChatGBT and the prompt that I'm using is can you give me a unique sentence for each of these areas and then it's just all of the areas that we have. As we can see here, we have got the area on the left hand side and then and also a unique sentence on the right hand side so we can very easily just copy and paste this over onto our Google Sheet. So all I've done now is I have got the location on the left hand side and I'm just going to have this as intro. Then we can get as many different data points as we can for all of these. So for the next set of information that I'll be getting is the coordinates for every single location. Again, all of these small little things will help us improve the ranking for like the programmatic SEO side of stuff. So so what we will be doing is we'll be inputting all of these into a programmatic SEO plugin and be creating all of these pages on mass. But the thing is, what we want to make certain that we're doing is we're creating enough uniqueness that Google will actually like these pages. So the prompt that I will be using is, can you create me a unique SEO optimized intro for all of these locations? I am a kitchen remodeling contractor. My business name is Dash Contractors. Here are a list of individual locations I cover. So as we can see here, it has just finished generating all of our introduction sentences. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy the first A and paste it over onto my sheet here. And as you can see, Ultranum, welcome to Dash Contractors, your premier kitchen remodeling experts in Ultranum. Obviously, you can expand on the actual data points. So for example, all I have done is I have got the location and introduction and a SEO optimized introduction. However, one thing that you can also do is you can pull in population of every single town and City. You can pull in certain entities to do with each town and city as well, which obviously improves the overall SEO score as well. This sheet should essentially have 16 or 20 different data points that you are actually pulling in for the perfect SEO optimized content. But for the purpose of this video, I've just pulled in three data points. The more data points that you actually get onto the page and onto the onto your Google Sheet, the more SEO optimized that the content is actually going to end up being. Once you then have your Google Sheet set up, then what you want to do is actually import all of these. Data 
data points into actual pages. Now, what we are going to be using for that is a plugin called MPG. I will have a link to this in the description. Well, once you've installed the plugin, it should look something like this. What we're going to do is click on from scratch, give your project any name. So I'm going to name this locations and the entity type we're going to set to posts. So once you have installed the MPG plugin, what we're going to do is click on from scratch and we're going to give this a template name. I'm going to call mine locations and the entity type we're going to set to pages and the template we're just going to leave this for the time being and we're going to click on save changes. Once you once you've then clicked save changes, what we're going to then do is copy over URL for your Google Sheet. So I'm just going to go over here and paste this in. Then once you've done that, you're just going to click on fetch and use. You will know it has worked because when you click on fetch and use and then click on preview here, you will see your locations, your unique sentence and any other columns that you have. So obviously I only done location, a unique sentence and a introduction. But if you have, let's say 10 or 15 different columns, you will see all of them. So the next thing what we want to do is create some URLs that are SEO friendly. Now, what I like to do is only include the location. So if I just use the location shortcode there, as you can see in the preview, it will have Ultranum, which then lines up with my Ultranum first column there. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to click on save changes. So now that we have our project set up, we are actually going to set up our template. But to do that, what we need to do is look at our short codes. So obviously we have got three short codes. In your case, you might have 15 or you might have 20, depending on the amount of data points that you have got from ChatGBT. But what we want to do is for the location, we're just going to click on copy here, go to add a new page, and we're going to call this any title that you want. So for example, in my instance, I am acting as a kitchen contractor. So what I might do is change the H1 to kitchen contractor and then code there. Then what I would want to do is create the unique sentence. So what I'll do for the purpose of this video is call this unique sent. So all I've done there is I have created a unique sentence. Obviously you don't need to have unique sentence here, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just showing you guys. And then I'm going to have another one called SEO intro. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on my code, copy this, and then just paste that in there. Click on publish. Now, if you actually look at this page, it's going to look really weird to you but just bear with me for one more second now if we go back into the all projects section click on edit and then click on the template and if you search up the page that we just named it so kitchen contractor mpg location and then click save changes now if you we were to actually go to the ultron page as you can see kitchen contractor ultron unique sentence ultronum is known for its picturesque market town charm and bustling artisanal food and the SEO intro, welcome to Dash Contractors, your premier kitchen remodeling experts. So what you can end up doing with ChatGBT and programmatic SEO is you can end up being very, very creative. This has just been a small example of what you can actually do, but you can also use unique images. You can pull in certain populations of all the towns. You can pull in entities and you can do a lot, lot more. So that has been my local business SEO case study. If you guys do have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. And if you want to hire me for SEO consultancy, make sure to check out casual-dash.com. Thanks.